Hey, Gold Rush fans. Well, season four of Dave Turns Lost Mine premiered this past Friday, so let's talk about it. To be all honest, I've only seen a few episodes of this series. I've been a fan of Dozer Dave way back when he was on Gold Rush, when he was on the Hoffman crew. For me personally, he was the leader of the crew. He would overrule Todd and the crew believed and they trusted him. So episode one starts with looking for a claim and they start in Idaho. Honestly, Idaho is a very beautiful state. The team will divide and conquer for two different sites. Dave and a geologist head in one direction and the rest of the crew, they go in another. So let's talk about the crew. From what I've seen, the crew is the same. Dave, he honestly has a very solid crew and they have the experience and the knowledge to handle almost any situation. For me personally, Jason, I can live without him. He's a very cocky, arrogant. He adds drama where it's not needed. The other guys, they're low key and they honestly get the job done. So far with gold, they're just prospecting right now. So it's measured in grams versus ounces and they did find actually a pretty substantial amount, 21 grams to be exact. Great results, but there's not enough land to last the whole season. So when one door closes, another one opens. To me, Dave is a true leader. He values his team's input and decisions are made as a team. They all agree that the Idaho claim won't work and Dave has honestly an opportunity for the crew. A fellow prospector has been talking with a cattle rancher in Montana. Prospecting has shown great gold, but the landowner, he's refusing to budge. A meeting is set up, so this is honestly something to watch for. Could be something great. All right, everybody. This has been a Gold Rush Minute. If you like the content, please click that subscribe button that's on your screen. Here's my very first video all about Hoffman Family Gold. Till the next time.